Hey guys, I'll just add this in for you all. Get Will to side up here. Feel free to drop some questions. I will um, answer some questions. Have a post round chat as well. Haven't done something like this for a while on the live, so I thought it'd be good to to do it. And especially with the rules with the giveaway being that you have until twelve o'clock to claim your prize and not happening. So I'm gonna get <clears throat> um the comments up just to show once again proof for those who good day everyone. Afternoon, Jai. Hey Blowbox, how are you? Do you think Souths can beat Penrith? I won't reveal my tips on this video. My tips will be out tomorrow night. Um, if not Wednesday, because I am working tomorrow, we'll see how we go. I'd like to get Jason David, the Bulldogs, TikTok supporter, on for a joint tips this week. So we'll see if that can happen. But basically, we're all here for this video here, which was the round 22 giveaway to win yourself a drum mystery hoodie. So men's hoodies. There it is, mystery lockdown hoodie. Valued at $49, and we did have a winner. We had Basil. Unfortunately, Basil, I'm just going to put in the description. Um, unfortunately, Basil did not claim his prize. So that's in the chat now, official for everybody. 14 people on here, fantastic, love it. So, Drom, plenty of mystery hoodies that you could potentially pick up. There's two people. Um, obviously, if these two people don't reply by that time, I do know the names, but I'll go on to double, double check. It should be all NRL and the Diab fam with Brad Parker from the Parramatta Reels and the Sea Eagles game. Yeah, all NRL is one. And there's the Diab fam. So let's add those in. All NRL, the Diab fam, and giveaway for Drum Mystery Hoodie. How is everyone on this uh, lockdown Monday? Day one without rugby league at the moment. I think we've got a Titans and Storm to kick off the round. But I won't be going through my tips this week. Um, until later on. Feel free to drop. Uh, I just commented on round 22 tips. You just commented. A bit late, a bit late, buddy, unfortunately. Oh, I appreciate the comment, man. Hi, it says, love your videos. Appreciate that. So, yeah, we have two potential winners here with the Diab Farm and all NRL. One of you will be picking up a Drom Mystery Lockdown hoodie. Um, just make sure you message me on Instagram at the Entertain House. I will give this one. Look, we'll go 8 p.m. tonight. And if it's not 8 p.m. tonight and I don't get a reply in the morning from the other final guess, um, then unfortunately this giveaway will have to be void. I know these guys are fairly responsive for the most part. So the Diab fam and all NRL. Um, good luck to you guys. As I said, you've got until 8 p.m. tonight to message me on Instagram at the Entertain House to claim your prize. If you don't message me, for example, if all NRL wins here, I message the Diab fam at 8 p.m. You only have until um, tomorrow. We'll go same time, midday, and if it's not by midday, this giveaway will be void. What happened to Basil? Basil has not replied. Uh, Basil has not replied, and unfortunately, this lockdown... Um, hoodie sale will only be until Wednesday. So we had to had to cut it short for the Monday. Let's spin it. Diab fam's here. Good luck. All NRL is very responsive as well. Good luck to both of you. Congratulations for getting Brad Parker. The winner of the Drum Mystery Hoodie Take 2 is going to go to the Diab fam. There he is. He's in the chat. All right, Diab fam, what is my Instagram show? Here we go. It's at the Entertain House. Message me so that we can hook you up with the Drom Mystery Hoodie, my friend. Fantastic. 
All right. So we have a winner. The Diab fan picks up a Drom mystery hoodie. Unfortunately, Basil from the other night was unable to claim his prize in time. Drom mystery hoodie. Wonder what you'll get, mate. You'll have to make a little video. No worries. He's stoked. Look, yes, thank you, bro, so much. No worries, mate. GG. GG. There will be another giveaway next week for the Eels and Storm game. I'll do one. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll go first try score. I might go something different. We'll see. Plenty of comments, though. Plenty of entries. So really enjoyed that. So now we can just have a casual chat around the around, about the round. I'll probably go live to about 12.50, so another 10 minutes. Can you give me a shout-out? I don't really give shout-outs, Tittles, buddy. So, yeah, the Diab firm uh, is the winner of the giveaway, guessing Brad Parker as the first try scorer in the Manly and Eels game. Uh, we had a few good games in the round. Broncos Roosters, very controversial towards the end there. I'll try and chuck myself in here. There you go. Um, and we'll, quite, well, we'll keep that comment up. It's our winner, so uh, we can stop the screen share now. Perfect. So, yeah, plenty of... um. Are you getting your Elite the day they release? I don't believe so. I believe release date is Friday for the suppliers, so I'll probably have mine Monday, Tuesday, hopefully as soon as possible, though. Um, if you guys aren't on the page, make sure you join EH Breaks and Collects over on Facebook. Don't forget to use code ENT15 for our sponsor at Drum Clothing Co. And um, let me see if I can include this as well for you guys in the description. I don't know if this will work. I do have my own merch that you guys can now purchase from red bubble um so we'll just try and open that and see if that'll let me copy it just the classic design available at present and we're gonna go with Streamyard. that's mad josh good we'll have to be bloody vaccinated to get there you go guys if you copy and paste that link into your browser you'll be able to pick up some entertain house merch from red bubble if you would like uh, T-shirts, I believe there's water bottles available. What else did we design? We designed, give you guys a little preview. Um, we'll share screen. Give me a second, I'll share screen. You're annoyed with the Eels, Madison being suspended. What did I think of the Warriors win over the Bulldogs? I really like Josh Curran. Really like what he's come up with some big plays in the last couple of weeks, even tripping over. He's responded from that really well. I um I did the the ladder prediction. I'll tell you what, Warriors and our old fanatics, I think that the Warriors can actually make the eight. If we're being realistic on how Canberra have played, and I think Canberra are a chance against Manly this week. I'm not sure if I'll tip them yet, but they're a chance. I've, I've got the Warriors in eighth position. The Gold Coast showed me that they probably don't deserve to be a top eight side the way that they played against the Rabbitoh. They've been really inconsistent all year. So have Newcastle, but I think that their draw is, is quite favourable. And so is New Zealand. So, look, it's a bit of a, a strange one, but I think the Warriors... I'm trying to check if the Diab farm has messaged me. No message yet. <clears throat> the lighting is terrible in this room, so I do apologise for that as well. Yeah, Karen is a really good player. Um, share screen. So we can show you. Here we go. So classic design, 57 products, uh, T-shirts, both long sleeve and short sleeve, starting from 25 for the short sleeve shirts. Um, you can add a couple bucks to change your colours. I've ordered a couple myself, so hopefully they come today. Um, probably come tomorrow, I think, based on the shipping advice at the moment. iPhone and Samsung covers. A few of these just added in for fun. There's some throwaway pillows there, travel mugs and stickers, as well as magnets. Magnets from $11, big magnets. So, yeah, merch is now part of the channel. If you guys want to pick up some merch, feel free to. There you go. Brisbane won't be an easy game. No, Brisbane are finding a bit of form late in the season. You're not wrong there. Uh, when will you do your elite prediction? What do you mean? I've already done my elite predictions, haven't I? Let me check. I'm pretty sure I already did that. Uh, better be better for Para to finish six because they are going to get smashed against Storm. 
Probably. Then again, can the Storm, they'll probably beat the Titans. Can they, if they beat Para, that will be their record of, of beating the Roosters' most NRL era wins ever. So um, it's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, I did my elite predictions. I swear I did. Yeah, a month ago, buddy. Uh, here it is, 120 views one month ago. NRL 2021 full insert 2021 elite predictions. So it's go like it. It's got 15 likes. Um, yeah, I basically said what had been announced and then what I think would happen. I think I got a few of the young guns right, but I only got one league sensation. So go check that one out. No, that's all good, Christian. You'll watch after stream, no worries. So, yeah, if you want to drop your questions for the next five minutes, guys, I saw Arthur says Curran is a really good player. Absolutely agrees. It's fantastic. It was funny when he tripped. Oh, Sullivan needs to be re-signed, says Warriors and RL Fanatics. Were well, you going to have Sean Johnson with Chanel Harris-Tavita? Would you drop Chanel, <laughs> Chanel Harris-Tavita for O'Sullivan? You wouldn't be putting Sean Johnson on the bench just yet for mine, maybe in the next year or so, but I still think he's – He's got so much to offer. Am I going to do a live reaction this week? Maybe. Um, what day do we play the Cowboy? We'll have to wait and see with this one. It's tricky to do live streams with, with my house and with the lockdown. I always go to a mate's place and it's more interactive for you guys as well when I have a friend there, which has made it difficult. But maybe um, we do have – probably not. We have the Cowboys on Saturday at 7.30. Why are we 7.30 again? Why? Let's get a Sunday Arvo game. Parramatta Sunday Arbor. Then we get the Storm 7.30. Then we get the oh, – we get late games for the rest. So I meant what will you pull? Oh, um, don't know. I want merch for my birthday. I'm going to ask mum after this video. Awesome. There is the link there. And if you need a link as well, there is a link to click on in round 22 tips. And uh, as for DROM, if you want some DROM merch, which is fairly cheap, with the code of 15% off, ENT, um, ENT15. I meant what will you pull? I'll probably just put this on my notification, my community tab. Um, because I have a 1,000 subscribers, obviously, I do have a community tab, so go and check that out, guys. There was a lot of interactions with that, which is really good um, with the community tab. But I do sort of put things like the basil um, being unable to claim on that community tab as well, five likes on that. I put the Grant Atkins. Make sure you go and check out the EH show. There may not be another episode for a, a while, maybe about three weeks, just working on chatting with players and their current situations with the season, obviously in very strange doubt, um, but but being played probably the rest of the season in Queensland, I'd say. As a backup, considering Sean Johnson's injury history. Okay, so Sean Sullivan as a backup, would you be moving Cody Nicarima into that nine role or would you be looking to offload him from the club and potentially re-signing Wade Egan? My hair keeps sticking up. I've washed it, but that was yesterday morning and I don't know why it's, it's bad today. Maybe it's the fan. Sorry about the eels yesterday. No, that's all good. So, yeah, we've got a decent round of footy coming up. Um, we'll have a little preview at that, but obviously I won't reveal my tips until tomorrow night. As I mentioned earlier, I'd like to get Jason David, Bulldogs fan from TikTok on the channel, but um, we'll see. So you've got Manly and the Raiders. Top eight clash, top four clash. The Eagles want that spot. The Roosters have the Dragons. They probably should win that. So that, that game's going to be really interesting. Um, and Tom Trebojevic being out, you can see that the Raiders are four dollars into two dollars seventy-five. Uh, Panthers Rabbitohs, is really good game. Really looking forward to that one on Friday night. Probably the game of the round for mine. Rabbitohs going in at underdogs at two dollars twenty-five. Tigers and Sharks. Sharks in tenth now. Um, their hope of playing finals is all but over. Uh, they're a dollar fifty-four. Tigers two fifty. Tigers haven't been great, but they've been winning games. Parramatta and the Cowboys. Parramatta need to bounce back. And Brisbane and Warriors, that'll be an interesting game. Brisbane only really playing for pride at the moment, but put in a good performance. Warriors inconsistent, and the Warriors are, are fighting um, for that top eight spot still. So so if you've got any questions for me or 
the round that was. Make sure you ask them. Um, as for the Diab fam, congratulations on winning the giveaway. So make sure you do message me on Instagram. Just waiting for to come through. You don't see Cody hanging around. Rabbitohs by two points, really close. Could happen. Could happen. Do you think Brad Arthur should still be coach? I don't think it's his fault after recent performances. Uh, I personally don't. I think Shane Flanagan should be given a chance with the club. Um, a lot of talks about Wayne Bennett, Peter Sterling, but I think Shane Flanagan with that previous experience, even though there was a lot of drama um, towards the end of his career with the Sharks, but I think Brad's time has come to an end. Fantastic person. Been a great coach over the years, gotten the job done, but he just can't get us any further than we than we currently are at. And I think we've recruited really well, especially with Isaiah Papalihi being by the year. It shows that the players can can step up. So I reckon Eels will only beat Cowboys this season for the rest of the season, maybe. Well, I'll probably end it in a moment, guys, if there's no more questions. It's been good to have a little chat and jump on here. Ariane Sinner says, Roosters or Manly top four? So on my ladder predictor, I'll tell you what I had based on current form. Uh, I've got the Storm first, the Rabbitohs on second, Penrith in third, Roosters in fourth. I've got the Sea Eagles in fifth by one game, Parramatta in sixth, tied with Manly at 32, the Knights with 28 in seventh, and I've got the Warriors on 24 um, with Canberra just missing out on the top eight in ninth spot. I think that, that Canberra, Titans, or Knights realistically are the three teams fighting for the eight, but I think that the Titans could finish below the Tigers. Honestly, I do think that the Tigers could finish 10th because I, I don't see them particularly finishing ninth, even though they, they could. But, yeah, I've got the Bunnies in second. That's right. I've got the Bunnies in second. See you, mate. When's your next stream? I'm not too sure yet. Manly top four. All right, we might end it there. So, yeah, I did um, include that link to merch on my round 22 tips. I'll also include it for round 23. Once again, congratulations to the Diab fam um, for winning the giveaway. You have until 8 p.m. tonight to claim your uh, mystery hoodie for Drom. And make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you so much for 3,000 subscribers. And um, I'll see you guys later.